Salutations viewers, it's Sir Book Writer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black 2 Challenge Mode. Last episode, we defeated Getsus and his Curem. And then FX told us to go to the Pokemon League, because hey, why not? And in this episode, that's what we're going to be doing. So, a fun fact about today in particular. Today, the day of recording, is November 4th. That is the one year anniversary of me uploading this series. We've come a long way. <laughs> First episode I complained about how the layout looked. And uh, <laughs> I used a webcam as a microphone because I didn't have an actual one. Uh, times have changed. So, we're going to go up this way, and around this way. This is a bamboozle. Don't go down there. So, the reason I'm kind of going to be speed running through this is because this is actually my second time through this area. And no, it was not a planned reset. And actually, this house is a heal, and I haven't healed up my Pokemon yet. Also, this music is amazing. But as I was saying, this is my second time through this. I was right about to end off the episode. I'd gotten to a point where I wanted to stop. And right before I could save, the game froze. So I had to restart it, and it restarted me all the way back to there. This is an unavoidable trainer, and we'll be right back. Your Pokemon must be really something if you're on you're here on Route 23. All right. Yeah, I really like this music. I forgot how good the music was here. Oh, hi. Okay then, that's fine. Keep a tally of all the times that I won or lost up till today. If I battle against you, I wonder which number will be increased. Probably the loss. Alright, a spoiler alert. This guy's number of losses went up. Moving on here. How's it going, buddy? Oh, you're a moving spinner. Alright, see you later. He needs another repel, and this is a trick. Whoa, jeez. Yep, goodbye. Here we are at Victory Road. Hi, Anne. How are you doing? You came. Pokemon League is just past Victory Road. Pokemon battles do nothing more than hurt Pokemon. That's how I understood it, and that's why I hated battles. But that's not it's not that simple. Pokemon battles decide winners and losers. It's true. Yet they do so much more. Your Pokemon, you, your opponents, and their Pokemon. Everyone can see what wonderful things the others have to contribute. That's right. Accepting different ideas, different beings, changes the world like a chemical reaction. Pokemon battles are like a catalyst, a small component that leads to big changes. My friend Zekrom taught me that, and it's the formula I've derived from traveling the world. I want you to think for yourself about what it means. Here, take this with you. The new Victory Road has areas that are only accessible with Waterfall. HM05 Waterfall. Okay, so something I misread this on not my last attempt nor my first attempt, but one of my more recent attempts of Black 2 is I thought he meant that Waterfall was required to pass Victory Road with. You couldn't pass through it without Waterfall. It was not the case, and I had to go through Victory Road with a Ducklet. Or, I don't even remember if it was a Ducklet. It might have, it, it was probably, it was something that learned Waterfall. Ducklet can learn Waterfall, right? I don't know. Yes, if it's your Pokemon and you, you will get past the Pokemon League and recognize your own ideals. That's what I see in store for you. Goodbye. Alright. Moving on. Basic badge confirmed. Toxic badge confirmed. Insect badge confirmed. 
Bolt badge confirmed. Quake badge confirmed. Jet badge confirmed. Legend badge confirmed. And finally, Wave badge confirmed. And this means... We can enter Victory Road. But first, a quick stop at the Pokemon Center. First, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna buy 39 full restores. Because look, look at how much money I have. That's not gonna do much to my wallet. Uh, buy nine Hyper Potions. What am I doing on Revives? Uh, I'll buy seven of those. And I'll buy... No, that's a little too much. I'll buy ten of these. Alright, I'm good on repels. I've got like 104. 101, okay. Good enough. And escape ropes, I've got... I think I've got a couple. And finally, gonna heal up. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. Restored your Pokemon to full health, and we hope to see you again. Now, something I just realized about that phrase, we hope to see you again. I'm thinking they're meaning it as, uh, we hope you continue to use our service and not, like, abandon your Pokemon for being injured or whatever. I, I, don't, I don't know. Just food for thought, I guess. Anyways, into Victory Road we go. Or rather, Victory Basement. Ha ha ha. Hey, it's the title of the video. I'm gonna use another pill. And right up here, after this guy, is uh, something, something really difficult. Why don't you prove to me how much you and your Pokemon are capable of? Okay. Alright. Right up here. We need strength to get past. And you know what? Since the entrance is so close, I'm gonna go into my PC, pick out a Pokemon that can learn strength, and use it for that puzzle. Because as of Gen 5 and onwards, those, if you push the strength boulders into the holes, they stay there permanently. And I'm gonna heal up while I'm here. We may have a bit of a problem here. Okay, nope, Zoroa can't learn it either. And I'm pretty sure that Mr. Quack can't learn it either. So you know what that means, right? No, we're not gonna teach it to one of our party members. What are you, what are you, crazy? No, we're gonna go out and catch a random wild Pokemon and have it learn strength. Particularly one that knows strength. Bayonet. Okay, you know what? Where's my phone? I'm gonna look up and see if Bayonet can learn it. Bayonet can't learn any HMs in Gen 5. Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, here we go. Finally. All right. This thing calls for an immediate quick ball. We might be here a while. Heavy slam. That's not gonna do too terribly much, I think. No, it's not. Okay. Start out with a slash. You know, sometimes I'm just a little bit incompetent. I almost used Shadow Claw there, but no. Dragon Claw's our only option. Critical! 
Well, great. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Route 23 has a ton more options. Here's a patch of grass right here. Perfect. Buffalons. Can learn strength. Hallelujah. And, of course, gotta go for a quick ball first. Just in case. Got him. Nice. Alright. Now, the key part here is, what am I going to name this thing? What am I going to name this thing? They are known to charge so wildly that if a train were to enter their territory, they would send it flying. I think I just got a name. This catching experience, I would say, has been a train wreck. Oh, and it perfectly fits, too. Please let me go on the stairs. All right. All right, we've already been here, and before I forget... Teach train wreck strength. Oh, you've got some pretty decent moves. Uh, focus energy. Hey, what do you know? Mr. Quack isn't the only one to have the blue f the blue text anymore. Because he's- because, uh, Trainwreck's an HM slave user thing. I don't know. Oh, wait. I'm surprised I got that far running without using a repel, without running into any wild Pokemon. That never happens. Alright, so I gotta use strength here. One, and one, two, three. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna put Trainwreck back in the PC and take Crook out. All right, now that we've got Crook, let us move onwards. Oh, hi, how are you doing? I'll use my psychic powers to release my Pokemon from its Pokeball. Okay. Here's an interesting double strat for you guys to think on. If you use the move Fling and throw an Evolutionary Stone at a Pokemon that needs it, like, you use Fling and then suddenly you, you fling a Thunderstone at a Pikachu and it just evolves into Raichu right there. How could that be, how could that be used in a competitive environment? Discussion in the comments, go. You're probably a moving spinner, you are. And successfully avoided. Oh, hi, how are you doing? It's not enough for me to just be together with Pokemon. I wanna win, don't we all, buddy? Don't we all? Alright. Pokemon, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna put Kalua in the front. I am a doctor! If you have Pokemon in bad shape, let me see your Pokemon in battle! That makes no sense. Whether or not your Pokemon are healthy, I'll restore them to full health. Well, thanks, buddy. That's rather kind of you. Best doctor in the world, but my first step will to become the best doctor in you. What? Oh, he wants to be the best doctor in the world. Found a Max Repel. Neat. Onwards we go. Okay, you know what? 
see who's gonna be out front here. Uh, let's put Cough Rigmo and Dynamic Zap out front. There, double battle. Let's go. Behold the blinding brilliance of my many gym badges. Something about you reminds me of that trainer from two years ago. Well, behold my gym badges. Ha ha! Doctor! I hope this really isn't the route ahead. All right. So it's looking like I have to go back and get train wreck again. So you know what? I'm just going to end the episode off here and get him in between recordings. So thank you all so much for watching. And next episode, we continue through Victory Road and we hopefully get to the end. Until next time, sayonara.